In the previous video, we created hillshade base maps, but there are two other useful DEM derivatives that we can produce in Arc Pro. In this video, we will one, create a slope map, two, learn how to adjust the slope map layer symbology, and three, learn how to create an aspect map. To begin, let's navigate to the search bar at the top and find the slope spatial analyst tool. Like the Hillshade tool, we want to set the input raster to the projected DEM and rename the output raster file with our SP prefix and hit run. Slope maps give you an indication of steepness of the topography in your mapping area. The default shading happens to be this golden brown color, which I am not particularly fond of. Not a problem. We can adjust the color scheme by right-clicking our SP slope layer in the contents pane and selecting symbology. There are many options in the symbology pane that you can experiment with, but I will show you how I prefer to adjust my slope shade base maps. Underneath classify, I like to set my color ramp from white to black, meaning that lighter shades indicate flat topography or low slope, and darker shades indicate steep topography or high slope. I like this color scheme better, but the contrast is still a little too sharp for my taste. I like to switch the classifying method to natural breaks. From my experience, it gives a smoother appearance to the data. Furthermore, I can increase the number of classes, which basically increases the number of possible shades that represent slope value intervals. Watch as I increase the number of classes to 20 and then to 30. Notice how the contrast decreases on the map. In my opinion, having more slope classes and thereby lower contrast in my slope map helps me to visualize the topography more clearly and realistically. The initial strong contrast with lower slope classes really draws your eye to prominent steep features like the SP Mountain Scoria Cone and the fault scarps in the west, but I think that this can be sometimes distracting and may bias you when drawing geologic contacts and structures later. Recall the swipe function that is housed under the raster layer tab. With it, we can quickly compare our slope map to our underlying hillshade. The next DEM-derived base map we will produce is an aspect map. Navigate to the search bar at the top and search for the Aspect Spatial Analyst tool. We set the input raster to the projected DEM and rename the output raster to be consistent with our naming scheme for this project. Click Run. Aspect maps identify the facing direction of downhill slopes. For the purpose of geologic mapping, it is not always the most useful DEM derivative, but they are highly useful when doing any sort of hydrological calculation. In our SP tutorial geodatabase, we see that our DEM, hillshades, slope, and aspect maps are safely stored. If we ever remove them accidentally from our contents pane, we can simply right-click them in the geodatabase and add them back to the map. Throughout these tutorials, I will emphasize tidiness of file structure and encourage meaningful naming conventions. So before we move on, let's package up all our current base maps into one neat and tidy base maps group layer. Having them all housed together in one location will allow for easy data set switching and toggling down the road when we begin mapping the actual geology. When doing any database mapping in ArcGIS, this foundational organization is paramount. 
In the next videos, I will show you how to acquire Google Earth satellite imagery and import that as an image base map in ArcPro.